Roll come Mr. Handy. Robert lies a note on the table, giving no indication of how it worked recently or ever. A nameplate on the part of the surface is scratched and mostly faded, but you can still make out the faint word Rhonda. If you know how, how, more about how robots function, you might be able to get it working again. Whoa. Huh. Another free magnums. Might as well repair it fully. Oh, sunset sarsaparilla. Oh, empty bottles. No much point in taking those. Intact garden no. Damaged garden no. More magnums. Some kind of an obsession they had here. Let's give this one to Edie. Actually, it's full up. You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Almost there, don't worry, Veronica. Ah, less, something different. 5 on 5, 6 rounds, don't need those right now. Vomit rifles. Hmm. Might as well take a load off. Have some water. And some meat. Raw meat. Yeah, that's a start. Oh, why not also some? See how I'm feeling. Yeah. Real madness. Another purified water while I'm up here. Scrap metal and electronics. Now come in handy for Contreras' contact, Isaac. Okay. What's this? Nuka Cola Victory. Interesting. Oh, a missile launcher. Yeah, I gave the Annabelle to Edie, I think. Treasure hunt. Hardly spoke to folks around him, didn't have too much to say. Too many concern. You We got some pretty good stuff from the last story, and like last time I don't want any instance. The only logical conclusion was to hide everything throughout this room. If you can read this, you have my permission to use any items you can find. Let's dive right ahead. Missile launcher, three missiles, three bricks of C4, five frag grenades, one super stim pack, various ammo. Your benevolent Supreme Overlord Tabitha. Well, Benevolent Supreme Overlord indeed. Although, we have a bit of trouble carrying all this. No matter. Let's find it first, then sort through what's most valuable to pass on or keep for ourselves. There's got to be some stuff behind here. No, guess not. Oh, 
Oh, a missile. Baseball bat. Oh, another missile. Where could the last one be? Not like I badly need these things. Although more caps is always good. Keep thinking there's something hidden here. Guess not. Guess it was under her hat? Bottle caps. No cabin of cigarettes. Sense of module. Doctor weighs too much. See, we can reload some stuff. We don't need. Uh, Nails, not sure what those use for. But I want. Hmm. Ideally, I need. Need 308 rounds. What am I missing for that? Need rifle powder. What about 10 millimeter rounds? Large pistol primer. Might as well make some magnum buck shot. So that's got magnum in it now, that should pack a punch in an emergency situation. C4 plastic explosive there. Oh yeah, gotta keep an eye out for those. Those are probably most valuable in terms of how much they weigh versus how much they cost. yourself there. Question is where she would have put the last last couple of blocks of C four on that last missile. Makes you think what you miss just going over things. I mean she's outright stating it's hidden here. I'd, I'd never bought the check if she hadn't. Hmm. Probably staring at me in the face. I'm not realizing it. Ah, frag grenades in there. I took a pot by accident. That's a clip of stuff. 5.56 rounds. Right. 
probably going to come back here some stage. Just because there's a lot of valuable stuff to take. Star bottle cap. Do this one-handed, of course. That's a good idea, actually. Why don't I just back these down in case anything's been hidden? Like so. Hmm, can't gra grab a handle on that one. this. Ten minimum rounds. Have the most exciting thing. Oh, super stem. Valuable nonetheless. Probably should be trying to find this role fellow. And the knight, of course, the paladin. Yeah, it's getting mighty awkward to move all this stuff. Tell you what, I'm gonna put less valuable stuff in here. Less valuable, heavier stuff. Like, I don't know. Uh, let's put a missile launcher here. And. Sheep music. Well, actually, sheep music is valuable. The super sledge is valuable. And. Hmm. How about. Cotton cigarette won't be enough. Yeah, I'll have to put the super sledge in there as well, I think. Okay, I can run again. Properly hunt around here now. Okay. I think I've torn the place up enough, to be honest. Yeah. Pretty far search overall. Just a couple of things, but I guess I'm happy with the outcome broadly. Certainly. Ah, there we go. Last thing that really mattered on finding. It's just. Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a dress? Why don't you take the, uh... Hmm. For now, why don't you take the 357? Hey, entry one. As if I don't have enough pointless things to do here, Tabitha wants me to start keeping a log of all the repairs I do. So here's my first log entry. I fixed up several old terminals that were left over in the intact buildings here. Wonder what she's planning to use them for. Entry 2. Apparently the mutants raided a caravan today. One of their rifles jammed. 
took about seven minutes to fix. I also performed minor maintenance on the broadcasting tower outside. It's tempting to think that I could have just pulled the switch there and taken this accursed station up the air. No doubt she would have killed me some after soon afterward. But it might have been worth it just to see the look on her face. You mean with a scar across his face, whom I have taken to calling Cuddles, stopped him today and asked me to fix his car. I told him that that's outside my expertise and seriously thought he was going to kill me. I tried to escape today. Teva had had one of her men beat me senseless when they called me. How Now they lock me up in the next room whenever I'm not fix, working on something. Oh, and I fixed a toaster. Curls came in about his car again. He even brought in a container of gas and asked if that would help. I told him that the gas was not the problem, but he got really angry and dragged me outside. Tabitha killed him herself before things got too ugly. At least I don't have to hear about his damn car anymore. Tabitha came in today and said she's concerned about my safety. She's insisted that I change the lock on my door to require a passcode using one of the other computers I fixed. I'm really starting to regret ever fixing those. The password is 12345678 like anyone who cares will ever read this. Cuddles toy car. <laughs> yeah. Anything we can make? For a missile to a rocket. Huh. Satchel charge. Interesting. Why not? Compare the satchel charge to the C4. Satchel charge. So C4 does 158 damage. Satchel charge does 158 damage. It's worth a lot less though. Interesting. Well, I always like things that I make myself more than things I find. So I'm going to keep the satchel charge just in case. You never know. Disengage lock. Oh. Hello. Took you long enough. So can I go now? Hmm. What do you mean, took me long enough? Sorry. I assume the only reason you'd fight past a horde of super mutants and pick the lock on myself is if you heard my cry for help on the radio. But maybe you're just sightseeing. <laughs> so since the door's open and all, can I go now? Who are you? Name's Raul. Raul Alfonso Tejada. I'm the mechanic around here. Then why does your jumpsuit say Miguel? Probably because it used to be Miguel's. Whoever he was. How about if you let me go, huh, boss? You're the mechanic around here. <sighs> no. No, boss. I'm a prisoner of the crazy super mutant with the wig and the glasses. I was kind of hoping you were here to set me free. But maybe I'm not a pretty enough damsel for that. <laughs> huh? Can you repair some of my stuff? Sure, boss. I'd be happy to prolong my captivity and psychological abuse to tighten some lug nuts for you. Oh, X. It's gonna cost me a little, but... Uh, well, 12,000 caps for that. I don't think so, somehow. Hmm. Battle rifles attempt an offer. But, uh, I think I'll keep on as is for now. Just have a hunt around here first. Duct tape. In fact, I can make another satchel charge, I think, if I just get a slightly different ingredient. Need pistol powder. Easy enough to get. What's up? Help me craft something. Step into my office. Okay, she can't do the reloading, unfortunately. I have some questions for you. 
a lifetime supply of fancy lad snack cakes, revenge against my enemies, and world peace. In that order. <laughs> oh, sure we've asked you this before, but have you ever heard of a guy called Benny? Sure. He's one of the hotel managers on the Strip. He comes up in the news now and then. Him and the other chairman run the Tops. It's one of the nicer hotels. Or so I hear. Elder McNamara wouldn't shell out for a passport for me, so I've actually never been to the Strip. Why do people get so cheap when they get old? <laughs> So let's uh, keep on moving. See you around. Hmm. I want to make something. Actually, yeah, I want to get your reloader bench interface. Okay. Is pistol powder 10 millimeter so we need, we need to break down four of these just four and there we go another satchel charge I haven't heard a fresh batch of crazy coming out of the radio in a while does that mean I can leave tell me a bit about yourself first you forget about me already, boss? You sure you didn't take a blow to the head or something? <laughs> My name is Raul Alfonso Tejada. Can I leave now? Or did you want to ask me again in five minutes? It's okay by me. Enjoy your freedom. Alrighty then. I'll just head out. Alone. By myself. Into the dangerous waste. <laughs> Actually, do you want to tag along with me? Sorry, boss. But as much as I like to risk getting killed by your side, you seem to already have some help. Come, Rule. Adventure awaits. Well, tell me about yourself again. Sure, boss. What do you want to know? Who are you? Name's Raul. Raul Alfonso Tejada. I'm the mechanic around here. Uh, where are you from? I was born just outside Mexico City. My family had a little ranch there. I want to ask you something more about yourself. I'm an open book, boss. Granted, the book's in Spanish and some of the pages have fallen out. But I'm an open book. <laughs> How old are you? Old enough to know better, boss. Old enough to know better. <laughs> What's Petro Chico? You never heard of Petro Chico? Un amigo de Poseidon Energy. Eh, of course not. They were an oil company in Mexico back before the war. How'd you end up at Black Mountain? Well, boss, when a giant insane super mutant asks you to stay put, you do what you're told. Well, maybe you don't. But I'm just a broke down old man. <laughs> but how did Tabitha find you in the first place? Nah, it's stupid, boss. I used to listen to the radio broadcast, just to pass the time. Well, one day the signal stopped, so I figured I'd try to find a transmitter. I'm a pretty good repairman, or I was before my eyes started to go. Anyway, I found Black Mountain and offered my service, but Tabitha decided I was useful enough to keep around, permanently. Huh. That's all I wanted to know. We'll talk more later. Anything you say, boss. <laughs> 